Hello beautiful Scorpios! Welcome back on my YouTube channel Ivan Otero. This is bonus weekly love tarot prediction for this week. Sit back and enjoy, have some fun, relax, comment, like, share and subscribe and make a wish. Now this is your first message. Are you ready? Let me read the very first message, Scorpius. We can see a window and a lot of weed around the window. But let me hear out. Holding onto past slows me down. I'm ready to start again. Wow. Scorpio, is this you? Did you put yourself at the last place? Everybody else are first and you are like the last. You need to do something about your... I don't know. You need to change something about yourself, guys. Uh, but never mind, you are already ready to start again. This is new dawn. Change your hairstyle. Buy some new clothes, guys, you know. Uh, don't be lazy, don't think nobody's watching you because always, every single day, someone is watching you. First and foremost, if you do hold on to your past more than you should, then honey, it's so clear message. Maybe you should walk away emotionally and intellectually because it looks like someone in your past is over probably they moved on and you should do the same but let me see the message i will never forget about that night or i will never forget about you so what happened that night this is not just ordinary night it looks like you have had beautiful couple of hours and maybe this person ever never called you again and now you're waiting, 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 waiting for your old lover, but nothing is going on. This is why we started with holding onto your past slows you down. Stop doing that, my beautiful Scorpio friend. Think of yourself first. Marriage is on my mind lately. So guys, you know what I said? in introduction it doesn't go for every single one of you because you see now all of a sudden we have marriage so let me tell you another thing maybe you spent just a couple of days everything started in that special one night maybe all of a sudden this person will feel more emotion for you, more love, because you can see marriage is on their mind lately. Okay, we need to see more cards before we see really what is going on. Five of Wands, Five of Wands. It's very hard for you to let go of something, because you know Five of Wands usually is a fight, it's a conflict. Why don't you love me? Why you left me? Why you are why you are talking with me in a such a manner? Something you made up your mind. You said it's so not fair. It's so not fair. Almost like someone is pushing you. Why why you are pushing me? Why you are pushing me so hard? I don't know why this person is acting in a such a way. But this person can't let go of you and I think you can't let go of them neither. There is a conflict and you should resolve this conflict. I think, furthermore, I think you are fighting against yourself. I think maybe someone is dealing with a person who is so charming, so hot, so sexy. This person never ever promised to you I will marry you, 
like I'm ready, you know, to commit to you, you know. I don't know, but I have a feeling you are waiting for much too long. And Five of Wands talks about possessiveness and jealousy. Could be a person acting towards you in a very assertive, maybe even aggressive way. But honey, you have a way out. Wow, now we are talking about beautiful energy. Ace of Cups. Scorpio, my friend, you deserve new start. And guys, do you see now? Do you believe me now? Do you guys even remember? I'm ready to start again. And this is your new love relationship. This is someone new offering you love, offering you friendship, offering you dating. Holding on to past slows me down. Guys, this should be like a mantra to you. You should repeat, guys, you know, this five times a day. Now we need to be focused on this beautiful Ace of Cups. Could be proposal if you are already attached especially those two tarot cards together. This is marriage proposal. Usually Ace of Cups is new love offer coming right on time because you still need to mend your heart. This person will help you to do exactly that. There is a phone call and now I really want to know who is calling you a lot of things will happen almost in the same day if not in the same hour you will get so many information uh, you will start thinking you will get a phone call and this phone call might change your life and your future decisions about this certain situation you will go out after a couple of months, maybe even a year or two. You are ready to leave your house because you need some fun. Be ready for very quick things which and, and situations which will take place in your life and a couple of surprises which you ever never expected. This phone call is going to be very important for you if you're attached. Could be even text message with a content. Will you marry me, honey? Will you marry me? Nowadays, people are not as traditional as they used to be. So, I know guys, you know, a couple of people. And I read about it in the newspaper. Uh, you know, such a thing can happen, guys, you know, to you as well like will you marry me say yes maybe this person is a little bit you know nervous in front of you too sensitive a little bit afraid whatever whatever if you're single pay attention this is new boyfriend new girlfriend new partner new relationship i can see you will you will exchange phone numbers or maybe you already gave phone number to this person or you will Four of Cups is following you again, again, and again, guys, you know, past, someone from your past is knocking at your doors. Will you answer the doors or what? But you see, guys, those two tarot cards, they are both there to talk about past. Holding on to your past slows you down. Honey, you must be ready for a new start. There is a new start. There's a phone call, there's a dating, there's a person who can't wait to start dating with you. Will you spend, will you waste your time on people that you know inside and out and you know this is not what you've been pray, praying for? And this is your last card. This is your last card for this bonus love weekly tarot prediction major kind of death by the way you know in tarot 
Major Arcana death represents Scorpio astrological sign. So this is you. You don't need to be afraid of this card, guys. This card have nothing to do with the physical ending. This is more like you saying, I'm Scorpio. I'm so proud of myself. You can't hit me and you just, you know, might, you know, run away. Either you love me or not. Now, this time, this week, even with new people in your life, everything will be like typical Scorpio communication. Either you love me or you hate me. There's nothing in between. So, you see, you will be very intense. People who can handle you, such a people will stay. People who, who can't handle you as a typical Scorpio, they must leave. They must leave. So, this person, this person will be totally different than your previous love partners. But also, let me give you final advice. Don't be so harsh on other people because they are not as strong as you are. But now is everything. Now or never. Show me some, I don't know, whatever you want to be shown. So keep that on your mind and there's a great chance, you know, there is a person, you know, who is saying to you, I will never forget about that night. You spent a couple of days with this person and it looks like they think of you again. God bless. Bye.